welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Mariam and I hope you are feeling good. What are we gonna do, you ask? We are going to be rating the Golden Globe outfits. So we're going to be rating everybody who looks like this, like this, like this, and like this. Warning. This is a personal opinion video, so if you think there's a celebrity that looks the bomb and I personally didn't think looked the bomb, then just you know, if you want, you can comment down why you think that person looked the bomb. So, let's get into it. The rules of the game, well, okay, not the game, me rating, is that I'm going to rate these outfits based on their hair, their actual outfit, and the creativity behind the outfit. Okay, first up on the list, we have Jennifer Hudson, aka j Hud. And she came in wearing this beautiful golden um, dress with a very like diamond sort of neck situation going on. Her shoes are great. I think that it very much goes with the dress. But I'm going to start with the hair, right? I'm going to start with the hair. I think that her hair is great. I like the whole um, situation going on. It, I think it, I think it's a very simple and you know okay. It's an okay um, hairstyle for the Golden Globes. Now let's move on to her dress. Hmm. Um. Uh, to be honest, to be honest, I think it's a. Uh, I really don't think that much creativity has gone into this dress personally. It's interesting, but when I look at it, it looks like the designer decided, okay, so we're going to the Golden Globes. I'm going to make you look like a Golden Globe. Oh, I'm going to have to give j a probably a 7 out of 10. I think that is a fair, yeah, that is a fair rating for her outfit. Next up, we have Riri, Rihanna, and I think that she looks incredible i love the whole hair situation going on you see now compared to jayhad jayhad's one like it went with her outfit but now rihanna is coming all out i love the little swoop going on in the front and you know rihanna she always comes with the big coats and everything it's kind of her look I like that she went for full black for the golden globes and that is very beautiful she looks incredible and she came in with the gloves, so in total, I'm going to give her a 9 out of 10. Because she looks like a princess. She looks like a Hollywood princess. We've got Tyler James Williams. I really like his suit. I think that it is very unique compared to, you know, just wearing the classic, basic um, black tuxedo. And I can't really say much about, much about his hair because, you know, with the males, there's not much options. Plus, it's at the Golden Globes, so I'll let that slide. I really like um, the shirt, and I like that there's no tie going on, and it's just plain, and it looks very neat. Of the chain right by his collar, I think that looks great. The rings are looking great and everything just fits perfectly well with each other so I'm going to have to give Tyler a 8 out of 10. Next we have the lovely Michelle Williams from The Great Showman or that is just where I specifically know her from and I really really love this dress. I really love, love the wavy thing going on around the dress and just the way it's layered looks incredibly beautiful. I'm glad that they didn't do anything epic or too dramatic with her hair because if they did that then it sort of would you know it wouldn't balance everything I've never seen shoes like that before they they are unique in a good way and I just think that Michelle has really rocked this Golden Globe outfit and I'm going to give her an 8 out of 10 Next we have Letitia Wright who plays Shuri on Black Panther recently played her again in Wakanda Forever so I'm I'm interested in the whole outfit dress. It's it's definitely it's definitely something different. I I really like it actually. I think that it's it suits her and I like the shape of like the neckline and just the way it flows down to her shoulders. 
and it looks like something visual like very casual around the top and then it's like elegant at the same time so I'm going to give Letitia a 7 out of 10 all right Selena Gomez <laughs> I'm not a fan I'm not a huge fan of this dress I like the sleeves and everything because I think they're very bold and dramatic and they're very pretty but the whole dress is the whole dress together is not doing it for me her hair is very simple it's a high ponytail but overall I think her outfit could have done more so for Selena I'm going to give her a 6 out of 10 to Sebastian Stan aka the winter soldier aka Yeah, the Winter Soldier basically grew his beard out for this. I don't know, maybe he already, already had the beard before that, but I think that he looks. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. He looks kind of old. He looks older, older with the beard. And with his hair, his hair is slicked back. I think that his hair looks okay. And let's move on to the actual outfit itself. I like that most of the males were not wearing ties because it's a look it's definitely a look and I think that his tuxedo is very sophisticated and the material looks incredibly great and I like um I like that his pants are going all the way down so it kind of gives it a unique feature that not many tuxedos have and I'm just gonna have to give Sebastian Stan a 7 out of 10. Last but definitely not least we have Jenna Ortega. I absolutely love this dress for her. I'm speechless. It's very flowy and elegant and I like that she cut her hair. It's a new style and basically everything about this dress is incredible. It's just Let's move on to the scoring. I'm going to rate Jenna Ortega a 10 out of 10. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications.